Alright, hello everyone. Again, I wanted to bring uh, this particular piece uh, up to date. Uh, just kind of show you the process as I go along. And uh, in the previous video, uh, part two, you see where I had finished the drawing and was satisfied of its placement and everything. And since then, I took a, let me get this so I can show you. Those that may not be familiar with it, it's just a Krylon workable fixative. I took that first and I sprayed over the charcoal so that it would uh, uh, it would seal it in, and so that I wouldn't lose it when I toned the canvas. After that uh, was done, uh, I decided to um, then go ahead and tone the canvas and. Um, but I waited a few days because we uh, went out of town. So um, we got back. I went right to work, toned the canvas, and I'm going to show you uh, uh, a few images of just how uh, some steps of how I did that, and just uh, basically uh, give you the idea um, of how to go about uh, taking your burnt umber and with the uh, turp and simply just going all over the canvas it's going to look like a mess and you're going to think that your drawing's gone but it's not uh, and then how to go back with uh, some shop towels get you some I like I prefer these uh, no lint and um, uh, they work real well and um, then I I will dip that into uh, the shop towel into some umber itself so it doesn't soak up all the umber and then I will rub over it just like this in a circular motion all the way across back and forth all the way down until I get the tone that I want and if at any place it uh, gets too light I can get some more umber and rub right back in there and it'll take care of it and uh, and then as I once once I had the tone completely across I, ju I just took the uh, uh, reverse side of my uh, rag there and uh, I went back in and I just kind of pulled out some of the lights and as I did that then I took a brush and kind of in the direction of the uh, uh, stroking in the direction of the uh, the way the beard would lay I pulled out some more of the beard just here and there so that I'd have a good guide as I paint and then just took a brush and just kind of rubbed this down in the areas where I wanted to pull out some things in regards to the collar and, and uh, felt real good and I'm at this stage right now what I'm fixing to do uh, uh, is now go back and restate some of my darks with some umber and uh, kind of redefine some of these areas in here in the eye and, um, and then I'm also going to paint the hat uh, I'll go in with the umber and, uh, and, and maybe even add, uh, go ahead and add uh, some ultramarine blue to that and, um, and so that I can get it really dark where I need it. Uh, but uh, I will do that with the umber. And uh, not unlike, uh, are you able to turn? Yeah. Forgive me if this goes blurry for just a second. Turn over toward the old man there. And can they see the old man? Mm -hmm. uh, not unlike, uh, just kind of with the, in this hat here, do the same thing that I did there with the umber. And, um, and uh, coming back over here to Jim, uh, doing the same thing here. And, and just, just get a good, so I can have a good um, guide for when I, I decide to add the, the local color. Uh, and so this is where I'm at. I'm not going to stay on here very long. I just wanted to update you and let you see and then let you know. I, listen, I'm also working uh, toward a video that will show and demonstrate, not just show you stages. Uh, here you're not getting to really see everything. I'm telling you and I'm, I'm trying to share uh, and give you some, something to work with, but I'm, I'm actually going to do a video that, that uh, will be downloadable. Uh, and that you can view and and see the entire process uh, everywhere everything uh, all the oils that I mix how I mix them and and uh, 
the entire process of uh, doing the pick out and, and getting this ready for uh, the, the next stages and uh, and I'll, I'll probably come back before I put the color on it and I'll let you see the final pick out where all the values, the hat's done and um, all my darks are, are laid in it'll be ready for the uh, color and so um, I just wanted to come back and, and uh, get, give you all uh, just kind of an update and show you where we're at and as I told you I would and so I hope this is a help and uh, if you haven't seen some of my other videos I will tell you this uh, this is a real help uh, get you a cane and um, I find it one better than anything in regards to working when I'm working tight uh, I can take the uh, the cane and twist it and lock it and so that I can work of course I'm turning more toward it but I don't want to turn my back completely to you but uh, um, so I can work real tight details and uh, it's really good for that and, and you can move it wherever you need to if you're working you know, in any given part you just twist it and it'll lock and sometimes uh, like if I'm up there closer to it I'll put it up against my knee and, and between that and this I mean I'm dead on it's not moving this is going to stay real good and um, and you can work real intricate areas. And I just I know I, I've shared that tip already once, but maybe uh, some of you that have come in to see this that you you've not seen that video. And so I just thought I'd throw that in there. And again, I'm only using on this right now. I'm only using burnt umber. And um, I, I ran out of uh, other paper palette, and I happen to have this one. Uh, actually, belonged to my son. He did some painting and, and acrylics and uh, and. Uh, He's not really doing that anymore, and he says, Dad, you want that? And I said, yeah, you never know when I might need it, and I needed it. So, uh, But I just put some umber down. I throw out some turp uh, with my brush, and then I pull the uh, umber into the, to that, and I get a nice, uh, fairly dark mix all the way across. And then I start at the top uh, with my brush, and um, uh, just like this, and just work all the way across just like that it's, it'll be dark and streaky you'll see it I'm gonna I'm gonna show I'm gonna add a, a picture so that you can see the steps of what it looked like and I completely cover it over it looks uh, like everything's gone but then I come in and I tone it and my my drawing comes through and um, and then I begin to do a pick out and pull out uh, more and more using using the tone of the canvas to actually pull the, the drawing out. Now I'm going to add back in uh, um, with the umber and uh, restate my darks uh, where I where I feel like they need restated and paint the hat in and once I have that and once it's dry then I'm going to come back in with color and, and finish out the painting. And so again I hope this has been a help to you. Don't forget to visit uh, markbranscomart.com. Alright.